Okay, class, welcome to Finite Element Method, Chapter 2. Today we'll look at uh, bars and truss systems using essence to do the modeling for us. So for bars and the trusses system, it's based on two assumptions. The first assumption is the bar has uniform cross area and the bars are joined together by frictionless pins. The second assumption is all the loads are applied to joints only. As a result, based on the two assumptions, we can get the bars carry only actual loads without any bending resistance. Okay, with the assumptions and definition of bar and truss system, I will go to an example problem. The example problem shown on uh, this figure is show that we have two bar elements joined at point two. At point one, point three, they are fixed uh, separately. And then we applied force at point two yeah, along x and y direction separately with p1 and p2. The magnitude of the force I given was the length of the two bars I also given, cross area given, the Young's modulus of the material I given. The question is to find displacement of nodes two at uh, along x direction and y direction. Well, here we give theoretical solution for the problem. Uh, U two, which is displacement along, displacement along x direction, is two times ten to minus four meter. Displacement along y, y direction v two is one times ten to minus four meter. Okay, we'll use the theoretical result to verify our essence simulation result. And then we jump to the workbench. Here we'll create a project for us. And then the system we'll choose is, let's see, static structure. So we move it to the schematic region. And here you can name, like I will name it as trust system one. And then we'll define the material property. So you can double click engineer data. Here that will define our for our bar material. So I will name it as a bar material. And then we'll define the property. To define property is you can choose a linear elastic, choose a linear elastic. We want the material to be linear elastic, isotropic elasticity. So means double click isotropic elasticity. That isotropic means uh, property same along all directions. And here we can define this material property. Young's modulus is 2e10, okay? 10 to, to the power of 10. Poisson ratio we define as 0.3. Now we have this material and uh, defined as bar material. Okay, click it, uh, close it. And then we go to geometry. So you can click geometry once third cell, the third cell, and here click line bodies under the basic geometry options, tick line bodies to simplify the problem because if it's a bar truss system, it can use line bodies to simplify the calculation. And then come back to geometry, double click on geometry where we'll launch our uh, geometry editor for this class, we'll use claim, uh, space claim. It will lead, lead us to a new app, claim, uh, space claim, where we can build geometry. All right, now we are in space claim. So this is a 2D geometry. We can click a plan view so we can build our geometry chart. So here we'll click select, select and then go to, so you can hover sketch model, click on it. Then we can sketch the two bar elements. So we'll choose line to sketch it. So start at any point, use 135 degrees, and then change uh, to 100 millimeter yeah so you'll see that it's uh, out of uh, uh, the sketch region to make to show it we can use a control control minus to zoom in 
Control minus again to zoom in, uh, to zoom out, to zoom out. Or you can use the left corner, uh, right corner. There's a zoom uh, button you can press on it, and you can choose to zoom in, zoom out. So we have zoom out to this region, and then we'll create another bar element. Click on the end, and stretch it by night. Use 90 degree. And here, change back to 100 millimeter. Okay, now we have two lines. So you can also see the two lines here uh, under design curves. We have sketch two lines. So after sketch, sketch the two lines, next step is we will create profile or cross area for the two lines. So it will become two beams. To do that, you can select, select these two lines. So what you do is you first click select button and then go to the lines. When you select the two lines, you can press control button, control bu uh, button on your keyboard. On your keyboard, press control button and then you click the two lines and then you can select the two lines at the same time. Once the two lines are selected, go back to tab, the top tab, Go to the prepare, the prepare tab, and there is a profile. You can hover on it and click on profile, and then choose a cross area here. I will choose rectangle. After that, you will generate a rectangle here. So, click, click rectangle, enter the beam profiles, click on the rectangle. Well, this will uh, change the size of rectangle to the value we want to get. Right click on rectangle, edit beam profile, right click and then edit the beam file. And we have two dimensions, one is by default is 10 millimeter by 10, 10 millimeter, but for this problem we want uh, 25 millimeter square millimeter, so the area is 25 square millimeter, so we need to change to 5 by 5. So Click on B and then click on the 10 meter and then you can change the value here. Five. Same thing on H and then click on 10. You change to five. Okay. Now the cross area become five five by five millimeter. Once we get this, or you can you can close it. So you have two uh, sketch areas. So one is for this cross area. You can close uh, S Y S. And then we'll come back to our two bar element. Uh, now, what we have is two beams, but we want to join the be the two beams as at the joint. So to do that, we need go back to the design, click select, go back to design, click select, and then here you select the two elements by pressing Control button on your keyboard, and then click on the beams the two beams and then the two beams will be selected at the same time and then right click right click you will see a drop down menu and then go to move to new component so that means we'll move the two beams use the two beams to generate a new component click on it and then we have a component and this component you can name it here i will use a by default name so component one once you, once you have this comp component, you can cl click on com component component one, and the drop down menu a, a menu uh, on on the left bottom corner will show up. So here, we go to the geometry, and click on now. And you will have a drop down menu. Here I will use a merge. I will choose merge. That means. I will. I want to join the two bars at, at at their joints, so the two bars are joined together. Once we have this, and the model, the geometry is successfully created. So you can save this geometry before you leave it. So what I do is I will name it as two bar system two bars and then I'll click save so 
now we have the two bar geometry. Let's close it. Uh, come back to our uh, workbench. Here we'll launch our model to do the force analysis and calculation. So click, double click on model, double click on model. It will lead us to mechanical um, modeler by essence. It takes a few seconds for the computer to think about it. Okay, let's wait. It's opened. Again, it will take some time to load geometry and the material properties. Let's continue wait. Okay, we'll see that the status and has been uploaded. So you will see here, uh, if you look at carefully, you will see the two lines. These are our two bars. Well, what we can do is we can, we can uh, change the perspective to make, to put it uh, on the perspective what we want to look at. Z perspective. Okay, so that's the perspective we want to see. That we want to apply force at one end and fix the other two end. Okay, and then we can uh, zoom in and zoom out. So we can zoom out a little bit to put to put the two bar elements into perspective into perspective and well once we can see the two bar elements the next step is we go to geometry click B here we'll assign materials property to it by default is structure structure steel here we have bar material we have assign bar material to it and the next step is we go to mesh here we want to generate mesh Okay, before doing that, uh, one thing you can do is you can set set element size. So here I'm using meter unit. So I want to sign an element size much larger than 100 millimeter, which is the length of the bar. The two meter much larger than 100 millimeter or 0.1 meter. And the result, uh, the mesh size, the, the so each bar will become a finite element in our calculation. We don't need to cut the bar into small pieces to do the force analysis. Because this bar system, the calculation is quite easy. We can use 2.2 meter or larger, and then generate a mesh. Right click on mesh. And then we have two bar elements as we, as we want. Okay, we have two elements and each for one bar element. Because the reason is this is a bar trust system. It's simple. You don't need to cut each bar into small elements. Once we have it, and then the next step is set boundary condition. To set boundary condition, click right click on static structure, and then insert, insert fixed support. So now we have a fixed support. You will see that fixed support show up under static structure, where we'll fix the two end, so I will choose the two end. So before you choose uh, anything on your bar, you go to the button where show that vertex, because it will fix the two uh, vert vertices. So you can press press control on your keyboard, so you can choose the both uh, both vertices on the same time. So once you choose both, click apply. Click apply here, and you have two vertices are selected are fixed. So once they are fixed, we apply another boundary condition. The another boundary condition is uh, force. So we apply force to the other end, and we also we will pick this where uh, vertex, and then we apply force, 
and to define the magnitude we will use a component and from from the coordinate you can see that we can apply force along positive x direction and the positive z direction along, po along x direction along x direction let's go back to our problem along x direction which is p1 is 1000 newton okay, we'll do 1000 newton y leave at zero and z we will go to 500 newton okay make sure that i'm right so i'll go back have double check y is 500 y is 1000 so after that we'll go to solution so right click on solution and insert what we want output i want output directional i want output directional deformation so and then we'll know that deformation at different uh, on the different elements. So once I add directional deformation and then go back to the solution, right click, choose solve, and you will see the problem will be solved. It will be a very easy problem, two elements, it's a piece of a cake. Once it's finished, click on directional deformation, and you will see that it shows that x axis so show the deformation along x axis the maximum the maximum deformation is uh, around approximately two times 10 to power minus four meter okay so if we go back to look at that yeah that's the theoretical prediction this, so and we can double check the displacement along let's see z direction put it on z direction once you choose a z direction all the, all the results disappeared you can re-evaluate re it again right click on solution evaluate all the results and then click on directional deformation and the maximum deformation is 10 times 10 uh, to my uh, to a power of minus 5 or or it's a one times 10 to minus 4 meter which is what we predict well the small difference is because of numerical calculation okay it cannot be exactly the same all right so that's all, all what we have today and we used a simple bar uh, trust system with two bar elements to verify uh, our simulation result and i also walk you through the essence modeling of a trust system.